What's up guys, welcome to the first episode of the Pokemon Legends Arceus Let's Play. We're finally here. I'm excited for this game. I've gone in, I literally have seen nothing but the trailers, uh, despite the fact that things are being leaked and whatnot. Uh, I'm super fucking excited for what is about to happen. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and jump straight into it and uh, probably die, probably like cry of happiness. Whenever you see now saving, uh, progress is being saved automatically. Fantastic. That makes my life so much easier. All right. Perfect. Oh, this looks fucking amazing. I'm ready for this, boys. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I'm, I'm super, I'm super ready. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. Assuming this is fucking Arceus. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. Damn, am I gonna be a boy or a girl? I mean, we've gone this far. I think we gotta know. What is thy name? All right. We, made as well, we might as well. Go. Alrighty. All is correct and as it should be. Yes. Yes, Lord Arceus. Uh, it's nice to meet you, I guess. Nicole. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Nicole. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Hello? Excuse me? I'm gonna fucking... Dude, I'm gonna die inside. This game is gonna be so fucking good. What the hell? Oh my lord, dude. Okay. Alright. Okay. So, time travel's definitely a thing, right? I mean, I'm unsurprised by something such as that. But... Pretty dope. There he is. So the Arc Phone is going to be our phone. But Arceus has sent us to the past and given it to us. Okay, well that's good to know. At least now I know that. I figured as much. I mean, the second they showed the Arc Phone, there was no way it was going to be like some kind of continuity problem, dude. This is fantastic. Oh, I fucking love this shit, dude. Let me tell you. Pokemon Legends Arceus. The music, by the way, absolutely fantastic. I love it. This is going to be good. This is going to be very good. Wake up! Oh, do wake up, won't you? My babies. My children. Are you alive, my girl? Hello. How's it going? Nice Pokemon. I appreciate him. Where the fuck am I? I'm in the past. That's good to know. At least we know that. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness, you seem unharmed. Where? Who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come now. Who in the world does that? Fair enough. Fair enough. I gotta... I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. This game's already amazing, dude. It's literally been not even five minutes. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? You do, ha do you have somewhere around here you could say? Uh, nowhere. I'm gonna love this game so much. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I mean, somehow, I guess. So you're gonna give me one of these Pokemon, right? That was like, was, that's what's gonna happen, right? You're gonna hook me up? I see. Well, well no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. I don't know. I didn't. I don't know why I did that. Aw, uh, Oshawa. Oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I just caught the... Uh, caught up to these three po three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. 
It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. My, that's a relief. Though you feel from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Oh, yes, and what might be your name? Oh, encoding overloads already. That's really good to know. All right. Oh, so you're called Nicole. That name is quite the, has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I am a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here, which... Oh, blast and bother, my darling Pokemon. Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three? Oh boy, all right. Okay, so for starters, we're on a fantastic start. Dude, this is going to be fucking... Oh, I love it. Okay, I just want it to be known. Okay, so I can dash. I can move around. Dude, this game's... Oh my god. I'm happy. I'm happy with this game already. I hope everybody knows that. Hey, look, it's my phone. Isn't that crazy? There's a glowing, beeping object over there. What is... Oh, okay. And... Game controls. So I can change stuff? Focus on a target. Change. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna probably learn that later. Uh, settings. Okay, tech speed's already on fast. They know what's up. Camera sensitivity, motion sensitivity. Um, let's see. Pokemon cries, dynamic range. Okay, we'll do narrow. We'll keep it there. Investigate. Slash talk. Okay. I'm gonna love this game. I hope everybody already knows that. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. So this game is basically just going to be focusing on the actual, like, catching all Pokemon to meet Arceus again is what I'm I'm getting from it. I can dash. That's really good to know. I can hear Pokemon cries, but I'm not really paying attention to them. That was a Chimchar. I know Chimchar's cry anywhere. <sighs> Alas, yet another miss. Aha, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I like this guy. I think he's going to be pretty funny. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see? I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first? Now, that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. I don't know why I'm doing the Pokemon cries. It's like the dumbest thing I should do. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or ir irate. Aww. Cyndaquil, I love you. I will say... Okay, hold on. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using sh the shell-like object on its, on its belly. I will say... All three of, uh, all three very good starters. Oshawott's the one Gen 5 starter I can actually, uh, enjoy. I don't mind Snivy, and you know how I feel about Pignite and Embor, but that's nothing new. So I don't know who I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna guess I'll go with it. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my girl. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. You obtain 50 Pokeballs. Fantastic. All right. A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to a minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one, at that, one of them at a Pokemon, and... Why well, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. Did they just say that Pokemon can actually control... So, like... So, that's, like... Are they implying that every Pokemon can shrink down in size if they want to? 
I mean, that makes sense. The move minimize exists. So that's not really a surprise. All things considered. So the Pokeball, does the Pokeball force it to do that? Or did I read that entire sentence wrong? I probably read that entire sentence wrong and now I just look like an idiot. Who knows? I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no 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 one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down the ZR button to ready a Pokeball and take aim. You can move, you can keep moving around as you do so. Use the right stick to adjust your angle and aim carefully at your target. Release the ZR button to throw a Pokeball. If it hits the Pokemon, you'll be able to catch it. You may be able to catch it. If you ready the Pokeball but don't want to throw it, press the B button to cancel your throw. Okay, let's start with our boy. Am I holding the wrong button? Yep, that's the L button. Oh, I forgot. They're discriminated against the left hand. That's nothing new. That. Oh my god. I'm an actual professional. Oh, wonderful. You've caught a Pokemon. It seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Nicole. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Well, why would I be afraid of Pokemon? I've lived with them my entire life. Oh, well, pretty much. So... Let's just... Hey, Oshawott. Oh. I just smacked Oshawott in his head. I'm sorry, Oshawott. I didn't mean for that to happen. I apologize. I can hardly believe it. Nicole, incredible. You know, many po people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpest, shall we? Where's Rowlet? There's Rowlet. Oh, this is going to be incredible, dude. Hey, Rowlet. <laughs> hey, it's gone. <laughs> Just throw the Pokemon off the back of it. It broke out. The audacity. Oh, my God. Ah, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, go, go old girl. Rowlet, don't make me ask again. For starters. First off, the audacity. Second off, know your place, my friend. Please. How dare, how dare. Rally. I can't believe it. All right. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have all have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Nicole, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. I do like that, like, it's pretty much confirmed, like, the, you, you've been sent into the past by Arceus. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? This poor, by the way, this poor child, uh, thrown, like, thrown into the past. Hopefully sent back at some point, because kind of fucked up. But also, I like the idea that this is pretty much the origin story, to an extent, of the world of Pokemon we've grown to know. If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream. To compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. Are you... <laughs> when in, we in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is, wonder is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Well, luckily for you, I've been catching Pokemon since I was like four years old. So, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the girl to do it, let me tell you. I'm the they them to do it enter you a person with a clear talent for catching pokemon your goal is to seek out every pokemon in mine as and mine as to have all those pokemon caught a situation ripe for the teamwork don't you agree can i read there's something wrong with me absolutely something wrong with me i can't read to save my life i'm just so excited come now what do you say shall we help one another out my girl you've convinced me I'm going to love this game. Duck, I know you're watching this right now. You're gonna love this game too. I hope you're ready for it. And everyone else that is watching. Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. 
first things first, let us get these Pokemon to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all by on all that. What's wrong with what I'm wearing? I look fabulous. Follow me then, onward to Jubilife Village. Interesting, to say the least. So I was sent back to the past, is basically what we're saying. I'm gonna close my window. That was probably loud, but the window's been closed because I'm freezing my ass off. But, so far, we're 15 minutes, 30, 40 seconds into this. This is going to probably be one of, if not my favorite Pokemon game to ever exist. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young lady was a gr of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing her into the village for a bit. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. I am a stranger lost in time. So, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, what is happening? It's like, hmm, this reminds me of Jubilife City, except it's, uh, not a city. What the hell is this? I'm going through it today, dude. My, my, uh, I am going through it. This way, if you please. Jubilife Village, it, Jubilife Village. It comes a long way thanks to the fine people at, uh, I didn't read that. This road we're on now is known as the, to the locals as, I can't read fast enough. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet, so not many to do it. I can't read, dude. And since we know so little of our local Pokemon, people hesitate to set foot outside the village. I'm, I'm gonna struggle. Now that impressive building over there is Galaxy Hall, headquarters to this entire for this entire outfit. Who's that with the professor? Are you talking shit, child? Smack a bitch. Oh, botheration. I'd almost forgot. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me with, at the canteen? It's just past this bridge, then to the left. The wallflower it's called. By the way, Galarian Weezing chilling over there? Hmm, interesting. Your arc phone is, be is beeping. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. Use the minus button to view the map on your arc phone. You can consult the map for guidance to your next destination and information on your mission's request. You'll also, be, you'll also see guidance marks when you're out exploring or running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around in all directions to try to spot one of these markers, then you head for it. Interesting. Okay. I'm all here for this game, by the way. Hope everybody knows it. I think this game looks absolutely amazing, and I'm so excited. You guys actually have no idea how, how hyped I am for what is going to happen. Hello, sir. Can I help you? Why is your hair green and your beard is gray? Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? I'm sorry. Can I help you? I'm like 10. The wallflowers for Galaxy Team Folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Hello? Absolutely rude. Wait a minute! Oh god, I have to deal with this bastard again. Who in the world are you, and what's that bizarre garb you're wearing? A Pokemon could slice right through those flimsy excuses of clothes. Hmm. For you to get in here, someone must have vouched for you. Can I help you for some, like, with anything? Lucas, or whoever the fuck you are, was it Professor Laventon? Do you two know each other? He's from a re region a long way off. Not the most reliable sort, though, letting Pokemon run off and give him the slip and all. Three more of them got away just a while ago. If I had been resting up after some Pokemon drubbed me with a move called Thundershock, I'd have corralled them for sure. But the Professor, well... Unfortunately, it's just as Ray says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow to put in mildly. Oh, Ray. Ray? I'm gonna say Ray. I'm dumb. I could be saying it wrong. We'll figure it out. But everything will be quite all right now. Nicole here has agreed to help us with our Pogodex. As in, she's going to join the Survey Corps? What makes you think that's a good idea? Can I? Who the fuck are you? Who the hell are... I'm gonna beat this child. I'm actually gonna beat this man up. Who the fuck... Who are you? We can't just take in any misfit who wanders out of the wilderness. I'm gonna... Smack this child. I'll allow it. Anyway. Yeah, check your check yourself, Ray. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I'm gonna... I'm the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Celine. Celine? I'm gonna say Celine. Celine? I don't fucking know. We're gonna figure out how to pronounce names, but I'll never do it. 
Professor Laventon has told me how you, you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like to he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Child labor, am I right? Hmm, you look to be 15. 15! Okay, well then Ray's probably also 15, which means I can legally beat the shit out of him, am I right? You look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in, in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. I know that's going to be in the comment sections because Duck is watching this video and I wish I hadn't read that. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitors. So, so is La I'm going to just assume that Laventon's from Galler because he looks like a Brit. I've seen plenty of British people in my life. I know enough about them to know that this man is British. Uh, so that's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without a distraction. Okay, whatever. Jeez. Everyone's like, they're so standoffish. What the fuck? Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Do I have to be with this guy? This guy's kind of a dick. I've known him for two, not even a full minute. I, I, I didn't even, he didn't even give me his name. He decided to be an asshole. So, no, I'd like to pass. Benny old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Oh, now Benny's gonna be all fucking friendly, friendly with me. Kiss my ass, sir. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never fails to please. Yeah, well, I didn't like it. I'm gonna spit in it. Where'd you find this stranger in the first place, Professor? Can I help you? Like, ask ask me, sir. Fuck, what? I'm gonna beat this dish out of. Ah, well, you know you know that great hole in the sky? The one people call a space-time rift? Our new friend fell right out of it. Was that a joke? I fucking love this game, dude. It's been 22 minutes. I already love this game. Come now, I'm a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself with only facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. Sure, they're all over the place. In the grass, in the forests, in the ocean. It's up to us in the Survey Corps to study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Not really. Have you seen... Have you seen, like, some of the Pokemon? Yes, there's disgusting ones, like Bruxish or Aromatis. But I would like to say that Psyduck, you know, pretty cute, pretty harmless, pretty derpy. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Nicole will come in. She successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick, in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of, of feats such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. That's really something. We count ourselves lucky when we manage to catch a single Pokemon in the wild while fending off their attacks. Ah, uh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well, and it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna throw hands. I'm, I'm going to throw hands. Your captain just ordered 10 whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have your fill, Nicole. And think, if you make it into the Galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if need said members fell out of the sky. At least they're kind. At least they're understanding and kind. That's all that matters to me. Now, I'm not 100% sure if my audio is picking up, by the way. So that's really something I should probably be concerned about. But we're going to deal with it later. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. I'm going to actually unmute this over here. And uh, we'll go with it. You're awfully relaxed about this. You do know that we won't get to have Nicole join the Survey Corps unless she passes a trial. Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Nicole's skills. It's gonna be really, really awkward if my audio hasn't been picking up this entire time. That'd probably fucking suck. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Nicole, was it? For tonight, at least, we'll provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Alright. Can I? Okay. At least they're. They're being, you know, they could be worse. But if you fail to pass the trial, we'll put. 
we put you to tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wall. Things got fucking rated M for mature real quick, buddy. Oh my god. Captain Selene's like Isui in a way. They're both plenty harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one it's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. This game is amazing, dude. It's been 25 minutes. I'm already here for it. Yeah, sleep tight. All right. Oh, now you're going to be nice to me. Whatever, dude. I'm going to throw hands. And I'm not going to... This looks like... It kind of looks like a... kind of looks like an ultra wormhole over there, don't it? Still, people falling from the sky? That's some kind of story. So he doesn't believe that I fell from the sky. Despite being like an asshole about what I'm wearing, I think I look pretty... I think I look adorable. Whatever, dude. I've got style. I don't have the platinum drip, but that's unfor like, unfortunately, it's, you know, it is what it is. Alrighty. Oh, at least it's a nice house. I appreciate that. The music is fucking phenomenal, by the way. Oh, cool, my controller's drifting still. That's good. That's really fun. This chest looks like you could store lots and lots of items in it. I'm gonna just investigate everything, my dudes. It's a jug used to store drinking water. It has a lid on top to keep debris from falling in. Investigate. What is this? Survey tapes contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hisui region. To read them at any time, simply press the up button to keep open the menu, then go to the help screen. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your, don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. To save your progress, press the up button to open the menu, then scroll with ZL or ZR until you reach the save screen. There's also an autosave function you can use to have your progress saved automatically. You can enable or disable autosave by scrolling to the help screen in the menu, then selecting settings. Interesting. Okay, well that's good to know. That'll keep me alive. Can I investigate this? It's a dresser of very solid construction, where extra sets of clothing are, can be kept in. Okay, perfect. Alright. I guess it's time to rest. Press until tomorrow morning? Of course. Time for bed. I gotta go to sleep. I'm over this. I'm over it. I just fell from the sky. People are being rude. Like, I'm gonna throw hands. And what the hell is going on here? <laughs> that just made my day. I hope everybody knows that. Hey, I think that's Cleavor. Uh, that's where Cleavor was. So that's probably not, you know, good. <laughs> You know, the next day. Ooh. All right. Hey, in there. You awake? That was some wild lightning last night, right? I slept through it, dude. I sleep through earthquakes. Like I'm like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wake up to no lightning strikes. Come on now, bro. Anyway, if you're up, come on out. Well, since you've rudely woken me up, whatever, dude. Can I investigate this? A nice fire in the sunken hearth can keep help keep your the entire room heated. Okay. Uh, was there anything else to investigate? No, there's not. Okay, well, that's good to know. All right, well, back to business. This game looks fantastic already. I'm 28 minutes into it, and I'm already down. I'm down for literally everything. Did you sleep all right? I know that's not easy in a strange new land. We better not keep Captain Selene waiting. Let's hurry to the headquarters. Ray, I'm going to throw hands if you keep, like, you know, treating me like shit, first off. Just so we're clear. Hands will be thrown, if absolutely necessary, and I won't regret it. Alright, back to it, boys. Int oh, I like the music. I love it. I love everything so far. Here we are, Galaxy Hall. What do you think? Ever seen a building this grand before? Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. I don't know how to say that. those names. The wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack, outnumbered? This is what happens when you go so far afield. But the Medical Corps will put you to rights. You uh do realize that if you fail your trial and get flung out of the village, you could well die out there. Again, rated M for mature. What's going on? There's no death in Pokemon games. When has anybody ever died in Pokemon games? Just because Pokemon Tower and Mount Pyre exist doesn't mean people are dying. Like... 
Nobody's dying. It's fine. Nobody dies in Pokemon games. Everyone just fucking goes to a retirement region that we haven't seen yet. Well, you might die even soon. Dude, I'm not dying. I'm going to... I'm, I'll live. I'll be fine. Well, you might die even sooner than that if you have to take on this trial without a Pokemon to be your partner. Oh, thanks. Really, I appreciate it. Captain Celine, ma'am. I brought Nicole. You may enter. Celine needs, like... Celine needs, like, a fucking beer or something to relax, for starters. Let's get... Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself capable of being going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Three species? Wider way? But none of us have ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for her. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. Oh, there's an Abra. Adorable. The Galaxy team does not have what have the means to provide for those who only take it without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. <clears throat> I will lend you one of our Survey Corps satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. Cool. Alright, well that's good to know. That'll be helpful. That whatever it is you're wearing doesn't suit our satchels in the least. Ray. I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. To keep me from dying, right? Or going to the retirement region? The Galaxy Team's Trials. Press the Y button while consulting the map on the ARC phone and you can check the tasks you have waiting. There are two types, missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress, your progress in your venture, but requests are optional and given by people you meet. Pardon, Nicole. Come with me a moment. Good news, I hope. This game's fantastic, dude. I think this is going to be a fun game. I think this is going to be a long series, but it's going to be a fun game. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. What did you need, Professor? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply surviving in this unforgiving land, Nicole absolutely must pass this trial. Oh, excuse me. And as a Professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Okay. I get to pick from the people I already caught? Hi, Rowlet. Hi, Cyndaquil. Hello, Oshawa. This is gonna be good. Go on, Nicole. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fanny. fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fly, fight off the wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are, are very near and dear. Near, very. These little darlings are very dear to me, but let's play. It's plain to see they're rather they're rather curious about you. Well, my girl, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? We're gonna go with Cyndaquil. <clears throat> do you want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Yes, I do. Can I nickname it? I don't have a nickname for a Cyndaquil. This will be a new one. Hi, Cyndaquil. We're gonna be best friends. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude or at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked Cyndaquil back inside its Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. <clears throat> Imagine they told you you can't nickname Pokemon. People would actually lose their mind. A word of advice, my girl. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain Pokemon when you're out in the field. Oh my god, they're actually not going to let you nickname Pokemon. People are going to lose their shit. Look at these two cheering on their pal, Tentacle. Or maybe they just wanted to help Nicole with her trial. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Nicole fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. Alrighty. <clears throat> By the way, what species was ca has Captain Celine charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian, Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. Alright. Who obtained 20 Pokeballs? These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a, they work a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. <clears throat> Let's be off. I'll show you the way to Obsidian Fieldlands. Meet me at the gate to the far to your left as you leave the headquarters. I'm so I'm unbelievably hyped for this game, dude. I hope you guys know that. We're gonna see how many of these I can record in the one night. We're gonna fucking figure it out. 
Hopefully it's a lot. I love that I can I, I like I can run and then I can dash on top of it. Can I jump? Imagine. Oh, I can crouch. I did that on accident. Isn't that crazy? Oh. Okay, so I can switch between throwing out my Pokemon and throwing out. Okay, well that's good to know. Hey. How's it going? Over here. <laughs> oh, what a curious gap you have to have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo, the Ginkgo Guild? I'm gonna say so many things wrong in this series. I apologize. I'm a dumbass. We already know that. Well, it'll be fine. The go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now, that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you have a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success, so what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in a battle? Sounds good. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. <clears throat> okay, so Pokemon battle still exists. We are, I figured, well, I mean, we figured. <laughs> like, I, I don't know why I'm saying that as if, like, it's a surprise. Oh, it's Togepi. Cyndaquil is about to murder a Togepi, boys. Get ready. Battle. I can walk around fantastic. Okay, yeah, let's go for quick attack. There we go. Togepi used tackle. Togepi has a stab advantage, dude. This isn't fair. Let's go for quick attack again. I have the quick attack though, so I'm gonna win this, right? Um, okay, let's go for another quick attack. Nice try, Polo, with your fucking Togepi, dude. That ain't gonna do jack shit, let me tell ya. Battle decided, I won. Moves, items, use them all and the world will open up to you. And look at that, Cyndaquil's level six. I'm so proud of him, and he learned a new move. It's always good to have fun with, uh, it's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select the change moves option. I think I'm dying. I don't know why I have to cough up a lung at the beginning of every new series, but it always happens. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use those Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help you... Let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise. Okay. And to you, my Skyfallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. Perfect, I got five potions. Potions. A, to a topical medicine meant to be applied to a Pokemon. It can be used to restore 60 HP to a single Pokemon. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever you they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're, you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more of a customers for yours truly, after all. <clears throat> well, that's good to know. I'm glad you, uh, that's what you're here for, but, you know, whatever. If you can battle that well, I've got a feeling you may have your trial well in hand, even if it's, even if it's more to do with catching than battling. Now, to the Obsidian Fields. Hi, Ray. Whenever you leave Jubilife Village, you have to pick a destination from your map and let rest the guardsmen know where you're off to. That way somebody can collect you if things go wrong. Well, in case I die, I guess. What the fuck? Hey, I hope you make it through this. Do you, dude? You were kind of an asshole like 10 minutes ago, but all right. Whatever. <clears throat> You're Nicole, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Dude, like, nope. Everyone thinks I'm going to fucking die, apparently. All right. Well, <clears throat> in that case... We're going to head to Obsidian Fields, or the Obsidian Fieldlands, and uh, figure out what we got to do. All right. This is our base camp. It's where we start and finish our surveys. Now, remember what that, what you've got to do. You've been tasked with catching three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. I'm curious to see if Professor's stories about you are really true. Oh, Professor? Something wrong? Ah, well, you see, Captain Celine got hold of me after you left. She, she impressed upon 
She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. She doesn't let up. How exactly are you supposed to help out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear boy, I don't intend to lift a finger. Nicole's talents are the real deal. She'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. So, in other words, I'm still the one bearing the responsibility here. Not my ideal state of affairs. Alright. Ray's starting to grow on me. Let's get started. You'll be more than equal. equal. You'll be more than equal to this, Nicole? I don't know what that said. <clears throat> I'm dumb. Anywho, I think that's going to be a pretty good place to end this first episode. We're 40 minutes uh, into it. So, these episodes are going to be very uh, long, just like uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I want to see if you guys will uh i want to give you guys as much content as physically possible uh for this series i'm super excited i hope you guys are super excited this is going to be one of if not the best pokemon game ever to come out i can't wait for more but with that thank you all so much for watching and if you guys enjoyed make sure you do smash that like button if you want to see more make sure you subscribe and get to pause around to that pc party share with your friends follow me on twitter at pc bloodmaster join the discord link is down below if you guys enjoyed leave a like comment and subscribe I'm PC Bloodmaster, and I'll see you guys next time.